Hey guys, I'm MJ for at Actrice, and yeah, let's talk more about this World Cup. We've reached the stage where teams are now playing their second game, which is great for us because it's allowed us to update our model, and we've also added in a Bayesian model. Uh, so when we enter the results, we're going to see how, how those compare. And I've also got all the bookie stats here, so we're just going to quickly copy that in and see what the bookies are saying. And then over here, we've got how the teams have been doing. I mean, uh, this is just their overall, so their attack and defensive strengths combined. Uh, we can see Brazil's gone up after that win by 6%. Costa Rica is the biggest gain after beating Uruguay. And like we'd all expect, Spain is the biggest loser after the thrashing against the Netherlands. But without further ado, let's look at our first, uh, our first match which is going to be host nation Brazil versus Mexico. So let's enter their stats in here. Copy the bookies odds. And yeah, let's see what this has to say. Our models are, we're, we're roughly the same with the bookies. I mean, it's 70% it's, it's Brazil, around an 11, 12% for Mexico and an 18% for the draw. Um, the cheap bets are then, therefore, in our opinion, to go for the draw. And like last time, the bookies have added a premium to Brazil. I think a lot of people are going to be expected to bet for Brazil. So that's why they did incorporate that premium. Um, below here just shows the graphs. You can see they all the same or very similar. Uh, Brazil are the favorites. Now let's look at... Um, Number three, which is Australia, and number 25 is the Netherlands. So number three, number 25, and then let's copy their bookies odds, paste them in there, and let's see what it's saying. Okay, so <laughs> check how the bookies have responded to the Netherlands thrashing. Um, they've given them an 80% chance win over Australia. That is huge. I mean, our Bayesian model, which places more weight on the last game or the World Cup games than our data, has given us a 63% chance. Just our updated standard model has given us a 59% chance. So what that is saying is that the Netherlands is very expensive. And I think they've done that because... After the Dutch performance, a lot of people will now be betting on the Netherlands. So, look, it's a fun bet. It's it's a bit of a safe bet. Um, but, yo, that is a very, very expensive premium that the bookies have added for that game. Uh, but, yo, I, I mean, I'm expecting the Dutch to win. You can see the Dutch represented here by the green clear favorites for that game. Okay, let's look at 29 verse 8, which is... Spain and Chile. So Spain is 29. Chile is 8. Um, let's copy their bookies odds. Okay, so Spain still favorites by the bookies. And actually, yeah, the bookies are still favoring Spain. Um, you can see our model has corrected. Um, you can see from... Without that 5-1 loss to the Netherlands, Spain would have had a 54% chance. But after that's happened, it's taken it to 49% or 4950. Um, so yeah, we agree with the bookies. Spain favorites over Chile. We say it's going to be a little bit closer. Bookies are still backing Spain. Oh, for those of you guys who want to know how, how the model's been doing overall, uh, I have been playing that Super Brew um, prediction game. You can see I've pasted my little stats over here. Um, I've had a 64% success rate compared to the average of the game, which is 56. And that's put me in the top 15%. So, well, yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Model, uh, for getting us up there. We hope that it will continue to, to push us up some more. And then our final game that we're going to look at is um, Cameroon versus Croatia. So Cameroon, and let's take in Croatia, which is number 11. Copy what the bookies have to say. Paste it in there. 
and oh, this is quite interesting. Um, we're, we're almost saying that it's going to be a very close game between Croatia and Cameroon. We are favoring Croatia, but we're saying it's going to be a much tighter game than what the bookies are saying. Bookies have given Croatia a 60% chance. Um, they were obviously impressed with the way they played against Brazil. The model, which just looks at the score, the 3 1 hiding, um, favors them not that much. So, yeah, again, we can see the bookies. I don't know, maybe the bookies are just being expensive. Uh, these numbers here are the adjusted, uh, so just to take away the premium from the bookies um, so that their percentages all add up to one, and then it can give us a more of a fair reflection of if they're cheap and expensive. So yeah, the bookies are favoring Croatia, but again at a really great high premium. So yes, that's it. Group A and Group B, second round of games. Um, I'm MJ for Odd Actuaries. Please uh, let us know in the comments below, uh, especially if you are a statistician or an actuary, whether you would go with the, the Bayesian model or whether you would uh, stick with the, the updated standard model. Uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching. Cheers, guys, and I hope you enjoy the games.